our old school jazz. We need to deal with so called 2 5 1 progressions. And I will explain this one major part today. Key of C major, for instance, you might be very comfortable to imagine the chord C major 7 plus straight 9th upper extension. Through many transcriptions I did, I'm pretty sure that musicians in the middle of 20th century were conscious of triad to play over bebop tunes. To talk about Adolf solo on C major 7, it's useful to imagine triads like C major, E minor, G major, A minor. And roughly to say, there were two things that musicians did in the era. One, implying the chords or the functions of the chords by single note lines. Two, creating interesting rhythm by zigzag of the lines. Let's take E minor trial. And these are the chord note. And to think about scale, if you imagine C major scale, it will be like this. And if you imagine C Lydian mode or E Dorian mode, now you get F sharp here. And the first thing I do, or they did back then, is to take off one diatonic passing note to get the frame of the phrase. For now, I would take the second one, this, or to say this. Then I get the frame of the phrase, E, G, A, B. And this is kind of convenient because it works commonly on any idea you imagined, like this. In order to understand the development of phrases, it's always good to start with what seems to be the most boring. Now, from the frame I chose, I think this is pretty boring. In 4-4, four, four, it could be like this. And why do I think it's boring? Because this one doesn't have much rhythm by the zigzag. And the phrase is symmetric. Here. This side and this side. Symmetric. But I don't mean it's bad. Now, I would add a chromatic approach note to the first note here, from below. And uh, it might be a good idea to make some notes triplet, like this. And it looks like this. Chromatic approach note to E, triplet, and top note of the original phrase. Now then, I will add chromatic passing notes. Originally, these notes are diatonic, so in between them. I add chromatic passing note here and chromatic passing note here and this way the phrase is a little bit 
less boring. And uh, maybe we need to feel the rest here. But it's not too fascinating. I would say it doesn't have zigzag to give nice rhythm. So let's talk about the zigzag a little bit. Here's another example of triad C major to blow over C major 7. Then, um, if you imagine C major scale, you may put these notes between chord notes. In case if you imagine C Lydian mode, then it would be like this with F sharp. And the same way, for now, I would take off one diatonic passing note and get the frame of the improvisation. And uh, I would choose the fourth one to take off. So I got the first, second, third, and fifth. Again, this one is convenient. You already know why. Because it works in the concept of this scale setting up or this mode. Right? Then I got the frame of the phrase. So I simply uh, put it like this. And very simple at this moment. Now then, I will add a chromatic approach note to the first one here. Now then, I will add a diatonic approach note from above. Okay. Adding one diatonic approach note to this first note, which is a target and also chromatic approach note from below. So it looks like this. Let me add another diatonic approach note to the same note. Then I would flip the orders of those three approach notes. And it could be like this, two of diatonic approach note to C and chromatic approach note to C from below. I would add other trier after this. I would choose G major. Now it looks like this. The same group of approach notes to the first note. Then frame from C major and also simply the chord notes of G major. Now let me make these notes triplet. I would simply add tongue here for now. I will play this octave higher. Now the product of development here. It's a pretty interesting phrase. It's got nice zigzag. So automatically, just simply playing this, it gives bada bada, da bada. If I take off the pitch, you employ the chord or function of the chord, and at the same time, you get pretty nice rhythm on the place. And you may want to know how to practice those now. And it's pretty simple. You can just go through the process of evolution. In other words, process 
of the development from the most primitive phase. <laughs> Importantly, you should be able to hum or sing the phrase. Saxophone can be your friend for life. Alright? Keep playing it. I will see you soon.